What's up, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Philip 20 here today, and what we're looking at right here is a standard coffee maker. I believe this is a uh, Kenmore. It's red, and it's got a stainless steel plate on the front, stainless steel plate on the bottom. It's got your standard uh, hot plate. Uh, I'm not sure what type of metal it is. It's, it's a hot plate. And then, you know, you, your glass cup. So, what I want to do is talk about uh, brewing some coffee and I want to see how much power it actually uses because this is kind of important because people don't brew coffee at night, they brew it in the morning. Well, most people. I'm not saying that you won't, but definitely you can brew coffee in the morning with solar power. The only thing is you got to calculate how much power you're going to use at night and then have enough for in the morning. Now I've got a kilowatt meter right here. This shows us how much power we're going to consume. Now, I typically drink about two cups of coffee. So we've got two cups of potted water right here. And I'm just going to pour it in the back. Now one thing that I do that is unusual I will take and pour a little bit into the drain area and I'll drip that water onto the hot plate. Being there's water now on the hot plate, in the center there's an opening on the bottom of this coffee pot. That's going to allow the water to boil right here continuously and release heat from the hot plate directly onto the bottom of this and that way it heats up the pot faster. So we're going to start it up and run it. And we are currently pulling 963 watts. It's going to go up and down some. And we're at 0, 0.00 kilowatt hours. So we're going to run this until it's done. Okay, so the alarm has went off, alerting me, hey, the coffee has been flowed through, and now basically I'm going to turn on and off intermittently to keep the temperature at the highest point, which uh, will turn on for about 10 seconds, and then or 30 seconds and turn, turn back off. Uh, it actually is about 10 seconds. It turned on for about 10 seconds, and the next time it'll turn on for less, and the next time it'll turn on for less. But at, at this point, it still doesn't show we even consumed a whole, uh, you know, any amount of power, because this meter only shows 0, 0.0 in kilowatt hour. But if you were to calculate, I mean, actually when the coffee pot is uh, in standby mode, it also pulls almost one watt just by being plugged up so you know that's something else to take into consideration but definitely we haven't used one tenth of a kilowatt yet I mean the coffee pot was on for just a matter of you know three or four minutes and we haven't used one tenth of a kilowatt so I'm assuming we used almost a tenth uh, you know and the special thing about the, this coffee pot is it'll turn off automatically. You can leave this running over a period of time and it'll keep the plate hot but it's not continuously running. So right now just turn back on it's starting to heat again. It's at 958 watts and we'll see how long it stays on again. It turned back off just now. So it turns on and off for about five seconds or so after you get the pot hot and this is a really cool coffee man, I really like it, but the only drawback is, is it uses one watt to be on. So one watt, every day, all day long, 
is power. Um, now, what's nice about this coffee maker, it turns off. So, I mean, I really like this Kenmore one. Uh, can I say it's the best coffee maker? I don't know. Uh, there is some coffee makers out there that uh, brew one cup of coffee and then shut off. But here's the fact. Um, this, cup of co this coffee maker makes it, turns on, turns off automatically. I don't have to worry about it. Uh, <clears throat> it'll turn off here in about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And say, I've done whatever. I don't need to stay running. Some people like their coffee to stay hot continuously. That way they can keep drinking it. Uh, for me, I don't mind getting up and restarting this coffee maker. So... Basically, we have used less than a tenth of a kilowatt to run this coffee maker. And I'll grab the camera and show you. So, here is our current amount of kilowatts. It is 0, 0.0. And then our watts right now is 0 0.9 watts being consumed. And that coffee maker is currently really hot. You know, it's still in the on position. That's this ring. So the coffee maker doesn't continuously run. It only runs enough to get the water hot and then it turns off, which is really cool. So what can I say about, uh, you know, making coffee? On solar energy it's not as hard as it seems it's a bit harder to cook on solar because you're running a, a 750 watt eye burner or a thousand watt eye burner for you know longer you know it, 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 it doesn't turn off nowhere near as quickly and <clears throat> I'll do a video on that one coming up soon thanks for watching this is Philip 20 with solar power electricity and electronics and you're living with me on solar. See you next time. Peace. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. There's lots more content coming. Click the subscribe button below. Make sure you come back for more because there's great content always coming up every day in this channel. See you next time. Peace.